if you are facing the issue potential reduced auto SSL coverage, it might be because your DNS records are not matching uh, what was uh, re registered in your um, in your um, in your actually site, and uh, auto SSL is trying to add records that don't exist anymore. To sum, uh, summarize it, for example, in my case, I moved from Gandhi Web Hosting to uh, sorry Gandhi Domain Registrar to uh, Dynadot Domain Registrar, and Gandhi was adding a lot of um, of subdomains. So here you can see, for example, Gandhi was adding the subdomain cPanel, WebDisk, WebMail, CP Contacts, and these uh, subdomains I don't have them anymore. This is what creates an issue when the auto SSL is trying to run on <clears throat> on my new my new server. So what you have to do it's pretty simple. Simply go to your hosting. For example, in my case, it is on a cPanel. So open your cPanel and search for SSL. Here you have uh, two different um, uh, in cPanel two different SSL screens. On the first screen, uh, simply open all options you have here. So private keys, certificates, and install and manage SSL. And then go to the first one, look for your domain. Here we go, and delete all the keys. What we'll do basically is delete everything, exclude from auto SSL what we don't need anymore, and run auto SSL again to uh, to, to run um, uh, again with a clean state and not try to include anymore the subdomains that we don't have. And uh, so here we have nothing to do in this screen. Okay, and in this screen, look for my uh, domain, delete the certificate. So here actually I have even two certificates that are not correct. Delete the certificate, go back and delete the next certificate if I still have it. Okay. No more. Now here, delete everything, uninstall this certificate. Okay. And finally, here, search for my website. And here, this uh, subdomain that I, I know I don't have anymore, so you have probably to look for your own configuration. Uh, look if you have a subdomain, for example, that was included by um, by someone and that you don't use anymore. For example, this subdomain, I know that I don't use it anymore. I cleaned my DNS records and I removed, for example, this one that I don't use. I do not use this subdomain and I have to exclude it from auto SSL because, of course, when I don't have this DNS record anymore, when auto SSL is running and is trying to access it, it tries to access a subdomain that doesn't exist and generates an error, thus not being able to uh, create the certificate for this subdomain and the whole uh, certificate is failing. So I exclude from auto SSL all these subdomains that I don't have anymore. Uh, mail, I use this subdomain. Webdisk, I don't use this subdomain. Webmail, I don't use this subdomain. I use the 3W. Uh, this one, it's already excluded. This one is included. And this one is already excluded. Okay, and once that is done, you can simply run auto SSL again, and it will start again generating uh, the SSL certificate for all the domains uh, that are hosted on uh, this web host, including uh, this domain that you just um, you just solved. So actually, that's all you have to do. So again, when you run through um, uh, SSL update issue, check your DNS records, um, delete all your um, all the SSL certificates and keys for your domain. And here in this SSL TLS status screen, exclude uh, eventually subdomains that are present here and that you don't have on your DNS records. Uh, yeah. So the, it might be that uh, auto SSL is trying to include subdomains for which you don't have DNS records and that don't uh, answer. Uh, so when uh, auto SSL is trying to reach these subdomains, it creates a, an issue, uh, an error, and they cannot renew the SSL, uh, the SSL um, certificate. Okay, now it is done, and we update, and here we go. Okay, I have my uh, SSL. Okay, 
And now if we refresh the page here, here, and here, we should find again a record. So here we should find a private key. So here we have a new key, SSL key that has been generated. Here, oops. Here uh, we have a certificate for our subdomain mail and the free W. And here we can see that we have a record um, certificate that has been created that includes only our subdomain mail and our subdomain free W. That's what we wanted. So that's all you have to do. Uh, so delete everything for your domain, check your DNS records, exclude uh, subdomains that uh, are not uh, existing in your DNS records, and run again the auto SSL. Good luck!